bird a day. I'm John, and I'm going to be reading from Book of North American Birds, the Reader's Digest edition. It was a 1990 publication. Not too many birds have been discovered in North America since then. Some might have gone extinct. We're still in the Birds of Prey section. Our backlighting again is provided by Florida's morning sun and the best angles for the best background provide that we have some bad backlighting. <laughs> birds of prey. They are the warlords of the air. The hawks, falcons, owls, eagles, and other birds referred to as raptors. Swift, fearless, and powerful, they are superbly equipped for their lives as predators. Almost too well for they have also suffered at human hands for the seeming cruelty of their behavior. But such a view mistakes an act for a motive. The fierce hunters, but such a view mistakes an act for a motive. These fierce hunters, like all wild creatures, are only carrying out the roles given them by nature. So yesterday's bird of the day on a bird a day was the osprey. Today we're going to be reading about the sharp shinned hawk. Let's give you a picture of the sharp shinned hawk. I wonder if he plays soccer. You gotta have strong shins to play soccer. The sharp shinned hawk. Exhibitor Striatus. Accipiter striatus is the Latin pronunciation for the sharp shinned hawk. A jay screams in alarm, and the backyard erupts in a flurry of wings. But the warning comes a fraction too late. Beneath the bird feeder, a junco lies pinned to the snow by a small blue black hawk. What should be done? The answer? easy to give, but difficult to accept, is nothing. The natural world works its own patterns and human sympathies have little place there. The sharp-shinned hawk is, after all, just one more bird coming to the feeder. The only difference is that this little hawk doesn't eat seeds. It eats the birds that eat the seeds. The sharp-shinned is an anticipator. A woodland raptor, skilled at capturing birds on the wing. Its short rounded wings permit it to take snake through brushy confines. Its long narrow tail serves as a rudder. But a sharp shin's speed and flex reflexes alone are no match for those of a healthy chickadee or junco. So the sharp shin relies on two tactical edges. One is surprise. A songbird caught off guard forfeits precious split seconds. The other is infirmity. Birds weakened by injury or disease are easier to catch than healthy ones. And the sharp shin actually performs an important service as it meets its own needs. Backyard feeders concentrate birds unnaturally, increasing the spread of infection or disease. By culling the sick birds from the flock, Sharp-shinned hawks reduce the risk to all. Young female sharp shins begin nesting before they have acquired their adult plumage. So they start early. Let's take a look there. They have a different color. You see the younger ones and there it is on the nest. Yeah? Let's see if we can focus that a little bit. Oh. All right, so let's le read about how we can recognize the sharp-shinned hawk. They're 10 to 14 inches long and their wings are rounded. Their tail is long, notched, or square-tipped. The adult is blue-gray above, white barred with rusty below, kind of that flaky look that we saw. The immature are brown with pale spots above streaked and barred with brown below. Their habitat is typically forests and woodlands, especially mixed coniferous and deciduous. 
The nesting, the nest is a mass of sticks and twigs 10 to 60 feet above the ground in conifers. They lay four to five eggs with white and brown blotches and the incubation period or the time it takes to have an egg hatch is anywhere from 34 to 35 days. And both sexes roost on the eggs. The, down, the young have downy feathers and they leave the nest at about 23 days after hatching. Their food is small birds, also rodents, and insects. So that is our bird of the day on a bird a day, the sharp-shinned hawk. Let's take another, another good picture of the sharp-shinned hawk. Let's see, make sure you can see it there. It's a beautiful looking bird, good looking bird. No doubt about it. Tomorrow, on bird of the day, or on a, on a bird a day, the bird of the day is the Cooper's Hawk. Exciting. So for now, you keep flapping. <laughs>